Hello everyone, I'm Alan, also known as McLaren2009, and today I'm back continuing my journey in Carrier Command 2. <clears throat> Picking up where I left off yesterday, I got all of my vehicles off of this island right here, and we are about to head to this island right here. Basically, it's the next one that I need to get to. Alright, well, first and foremost, let's go in here and get this newly created barge. <laughs> have it run between the uh, home base and the uh, carrier. Okay, you... what do you have? Okay, you have the radar, so good to go. Alright, let's see... what do we got as far as aircraft? Okay, well that's not going to work. We're going to need another hundred of those. Alright, let's go over here. Basically, we're, we're going to need more 160mm shells. But the thing that I intended to look at was how many airframe, like, uh, spare airframes do I have. I need to get two more mantas. So, we're not going to worry about that. So, put a stamp in it, we'll come back to it. Alright, now the problem is, the next island we're going for is a three-shield island. So, it's going to be a little rough. sense in uh, redlining it just yet. We're not exactly in a hurry. Ah. So, let's get that set. I guess I should probably look at my uh, escort ships. They're sticking with me. But it's worth noting that we need to go over here. And you see these. These need to move a little bit closer. The 
thing that's going to suck is this is a, tier th a three shield island. So it's going to have ships, it's going to have air cover, and some of the land vehicles are probably going to have Sea Whiz and missile turrets. So it's going to shoot down cruise missiles. So it's going to make it a little bit more interesting. see the island yet, but we're not along with it. I mean, even not going flank speed, we're still pulling 40 knots, and that's in rawfish water. So, progress. cool thing is, once we capture this island, we won't even need to put a barge on it because we can just keep making things from this island, and it makes our life so much easier. But the good news is, we have a barge to chill it, so... But the cool thing is, you capture the islands, unlock the blueprints, and then any similar island, you can create those blueprints. So, like, hypothetically, if I went all the way over here, and I got these, which, by the way, I'm pretty confident that is the island currently held by the enemy carrier. If I go over there, I'll unlock the uh, walrus and the mule, both of which would be extremely useful to get, but I wouldn't need to build them here. I could build them here. So it's kind of cool how it works like that. But we need to deal with this island Partly because it'll give us a 40 millimeter gun, which will allow us to make our uh, uh, seals and, well, mostly just the seals, because we don't have any replacement walruses, and I lost one of them stupidly in the fight in the last stream. But I can make the uh, seals hit a little bit harder, and I can make 40 mil ammo, so we're golden. Basically, I've had to make some uh, modifications to my uh, battle group. As you can see, I've got a decent collection of aircraft, but there's just one small problem. I can't make the albatross, so I have to use these sparingly. So I've currently got this one set up. Oh, I've got them both set up with missiles and bombs. Hello, welcome back. I am currently working on getting to the uh, three shield turret island, Carissa. The reason being, it's a uh, causing some minor problems with my logistics chain in the sense that the escort ships that are guarding the island I think they randomly took like a shot at one of my barges they didn't hit it but nevertheless uh, I'm uh, on a revenge mission to scuttle the island, 
and in the process I can get 40 mil guns for my seals. So it serves a purpose. Sort of. But I'm not currently going at uh, flank speed, I'm not going as fast as I could because the waves are a little rough at the moment. And I figure if I don't push the red line and max out my speed, uh, maybe my barges can keep supplying me with stuff, but I really doubt it. That's why I sent this uh, battle group over here, or this little task force, to see if we can find what's going on. Really doesn't surprise me at this point. Right, let's zoom out on the tactical map. Oh, we are long way away. Probably could put it at flank speed and we wouldn't get there any faster. But the good news is, the barges were able to resupply. And that gives us flares, so I can put the uh, flare launchers back on the bears. I got a feeling I'm actually going to be able to use these this time. Because they have guns, they have ammo, and now I just got more flares, so we're even better. And I have not one, but two petrols, so I can airlift even more stuff. Yes, they did. It's actually really good that it worked out like that. You can't see it from your perspective. Actually, you might be able to. But my little on-screen prompt that tells me what buttons I can press, it's perfect that I got the uh, text box set up just above it in uh, Streamlabs.
basically the bottom line is I'm easily abused. Alright, let's take a look at the big picture the tactical situation. Well, that's gonna be a problem. Alright, basically the ultimate goal that I need to do today, I need to capture this island to secure shipping. between all of my other islands. I need to capture this island, and I need to capture this island. Oh, that's gonna make it interesting. All right, good news, the battle group is doing something. Which one did they sink? So, that's a problem. But, as you can see, the good news is I was right in sending the task force over there. Because whatever this is, is within striking distance of the barge. But, luckily, they don't seem overly concerned with it. Alright, so we're gonna have to get that ship more support. If I have money, I should try and make more. good news is I've got a slightly better supply chain this time. And also the really good news is I fixed the resolution issue with my stream. It should now be in 1080p like it's supposed to be. something, but I don't know what. Alright. Yeah, apparently it does. <laughs> it, it's not been able to hit a whole lot. I have much better results with the gunships. It's just interesting because they're blinking red, so they're locked on to something, but there's nothing in that direction. Or at least nothing discovered in that direction. Unless they accidentally sink something else. I don't see that here. see how 
it's holding up. Finish making these flares. Get back to making 160 mil. Then we're going to crank out some 40s, some 30, and some more 160. Okay, but the bad news is in the big picture, the ultimate thing I need to get today is this island because it has 100 millimeter shells. And I need the 100 mil for the bears. And this will be a completely new experience for me. Just for the fact that I have yet to capture an island that has been captured previously by the enemy carrier. So, this will be interesting. It also means that the carrier is coming right for me. Well, that's a problem. Yeah, maybe this uh, season is going to end quick. Because the carrier is currently right there. since it just captured that island, I can only imagine it's either going to go here or here. So, uh, this quote-unquote season might be short. You know what? I can't even complain. They sunk a needlefish. Probably by accident, but they sunk a needlefish. Alright, the torpedo is still locked. They sunk something, so I'm not even mad. As of right now, the one that I would say that I prefer would have to be the uh, gun. Would have to be the uh, gun, the artillery ship. It seems to do what I want it to do. So, I guess it's not happening. Alright, 
right, so we've got like a one to two kill death ratio going on over there. But the fuel hasn't been unloaded yet, so we don't have that. But the good news is, we've got fuel in the ship. Saving grace is that they don't know where we are. I have an idea of where they are, but they don't know where I am. Oh yeah, there's definitely going to be air defenses. already dealing with their naval defenses. And the real bad news is, I don't have a lot of gun ammo. Yeah, we've got a couple of those left. In fact, I think I the my hands going me. I have four escorts at the moment. Oh, the thing probably got me. So we're clear. This red circle is the effective range of its guns. I told it to fire at something 50 kilometers away. And it was just like, yeah, I'm going to go for it. So for that, I have to say... A, uh, thing I picked up in the military. Good initiative, bad judgment. You tried, your decision was calculated, but clearly you suck at math. God, I hate this game. Rockets are literally going to, or the shells are going to fall out of the sky. No, there's no way in hell. No, they didn't even hit it. it it's not even detected. It's right there.
you see, the uh, thing about external ballistics, the uh, max effective range is how far it can shoot where it will still do damage. Past that point, it kind of starts losing momentum, and it quite literally just drops and falls out of the sky. That's why with, like, the, uh, M16A4, for example, you can engage a point target out to 600 meters-ish, you can engage an area target out to 800 meters, and the max range that the uh, farthest the bullet will reach is, like, 1,200 meters, and then it's literally just gonna, like, slap against it if it hits it at all. Although, best needlefish in the game is kind of a low ball. But the good news is, it's like the best thing the player can build. Let's get on the, uh, let's turn on weapons. Let's turn on torpedoes.
It's right there. Alright, so we're just torpedoing the wrong island. Fantastic. Alright. Basically, that torpedo is going to hit. They might hit, they might not. The problem with letting the torpedo ship reload is I don't have a lot of torpedoes. See, we go up here. I currently have 18. So I've got four loaded. And then the two torpedo ships are going to need four more. And we've got at least three surface ships out here. The game is called uh, Carrier Command 2. It's kind of like a first-person uh, strategy game of sorts. I mean, I'll be happy if those hit. Alright, we accidentally sunk something. And a needlefish at that. Alright. We need to get 
escort. Sunk a swordfish, so that's going good. Right now, my needlefish is torpedo, is about to torpedo my own needlefish. It's literally locked on and heading towards my ship.
Yeah, it's kind of upsetting, especially since I can't even make more torpedoes. Yeah, see, the torpedo is coming right back at us. Let's just unpack this real quick. Yeah, I I'm not worried about that. The torpedo that I just got hit by was from my needlefish. I got torpedoed by my own escort. We all. So yeah, got uh, torpedoed by my own escort ship.
so that's a problem. Let's go look at our disappointing status of how many torpedoes we've got left. As you can see, not enough. Well, at least we got more shells. Got that going for us. Countermeasure can only be used after the torpedo is armed. But I need to take out... Okay, those are completely wasted. I have the activation delay way too high. wasn't even the torpedo ship. Alright, 
you torpedo that. No, it wasn't the torpedo ship that got sunk. It was one of the gunships. As we go over here... Torpedo. Torpedo. I have two torpedo ships. They're both still standing. The gunship is not. Yeah, that is true.
be able to repair a little more effectively. I just need this island. from it is Barkins. I don't want that island unless I need to get it. Ships do not like. It's like the guns don't work very well on ships. As I was. They sunk it. Yeah, literally right as I said it, it popped up that it got a hit. ships are causing more harm than good. I'm gonna send them away. They're getting out. They're getting deployed. I mean, luckily the third torpedo that I got hit with wasn't my own, so that's pretty good. That's not torpedo. Those are torpedoes. So if I capture this island and that island, I can get torpedoes. And then the day will be saved. Yeah, and it doesn't help that... Uh, even though I said to set the uh, base at like a 1 and 2 shield island, somehow it just 
populated everything is like three and four. So I like accidentally added like hard mode apparently. But the bottom line is, we're not bringing any more uh, torpedo ships. The torpedo ship torpedoed me, and I'm really upset about it, as you can probably guess. is the island's flat. So we won't have any problems getting to the shore. Yeah, that's why we gotta deal with the uh, AAA first. That's a swordfish. You know what? I don't want to look at the island anymore. I want to look back back. Little things like that are extremely annoying.
Yes, I'm aware. But there's not a whole lot I can do about it at the moment. getting a little bit closer. That's a problem. Just like that, it's not a problem. really don't know. Sure.
Let's see, can you see the... Yes, you can. It's running away. You should have no problem hitting it. All right, the needlefish is dead. Finally making progress. An hour and 18 minutes into this nightmare, and we're making progress. Oh yeah, they're, they're earning their pay. Unfortunately, the uh, gunner's mate on the carrier is about to get keel-hauled. But we'll deal with that later. We need to go down to the GM shop and start hitting people with wrenches. you can tell the uh, AA turrets. Alright, let's go over here. So, what we can do is... You have the heavy cannon. Matter of fact, let's just send them both.
right, that was a good hit. I'll have to check, but I think the petrol can airlift the bears. Your gun wouldn't have even hit that. And we clipped the uh, second ship with the splash damage from the from the surface ships. There's no way they successfully sunk the, uh, swordfish, right? No, they haven't. They missed. <laughs> Actually, I better take a quick look at the surrounding area. <laughs> if they missed, those torpedoes are coming back. Gotta be careful. Might get torpedoed by a friendly ship again. But one of uh, Murphy's laws of combat, the only thing more accurate than incoming enemy fire or is incoming friendly fire. Turret's dead now. I guess it missed the first shot. Okay. Can we stop being stupid for like five seconds? Luckily, none of those should be able to stand up to the uh, bears. Well, after they're uh, resupplied, I'll send them over there. Ball 
walrus, 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 seal. That might actually be everything. I can torpedo the uh, swordfish. Alright, that should be zero three five or three five zero. They also got uh, shelled from two different positions. Okay, that's artillery, that's heavy cannon. And let's airlift petrol. Almost feel bad. Oh. Okay, we're good. Okay, no, I have it the other way around. This is artillery. This is the tank. Yeah, apparently that bear hits like a truck.
just torpedo. Okay, we're good. Okay, basically what I've got going on today in this stream, I'm picking up where I left off yesterday, and I'm failing miserably at capturing more islands. It's not going well. I'm expanding my supply chain and dealing with some naval threats, and it, it, it's just not going well.
Oh, are you serious? I put the virus bots in the wrong place? I don't really know yet, to be completely honest. This is the, uh, literally my, uh, first time using the bear in a fight. So I don't really have, uh, opinion on it just yet. Sunk something, but the torpedo is. Oh, I can't even blame the uh, needlefish this time. That's my torpedo that's coming back. Uh, what one is it? Oh well. Live and learn. Luckily, we've got more coming. We captured it. See, now this is kind of upsetting. Like, this was a three shield island, this was a well defended island. But there are only three places to mount defensive turrets. Like, I would have to build and deploy ground vehicles to protect this island. Here, we captured the island. Uh, 
No, as far as I can tell, you can't. Because you build the defenses in the uh, drone console, this thing over here. You click on the command center, and you can build defensive turrets. But there's nothing I can do with the airstrip. And hypothetically, no. Yeah, I can't even tell any of my aircraft to land there. There's literally nothing I can do with it. Nah, there's nothing over there. Now, I can create and arm uh, land-based drones and just dump them off on the island, but that kind of creates a small problem. I have to outfit those vehicles, or I have to construct those vehicles, bring or bring the chassis to the carrier, arm them, deploy them onto the island, then just leave them there. And then I lose the vehicle and the armaments. And they'll never get resupplied. Yeah, they absolutely will run out of fuel. So, the, fuck, what happened over there? Okay, so my next objective, you're going to self-destruct. I'm not dealing with your shit anymore. <laughs> uh, quite a few. My immediate battle group uh, currently has four, with two more coming. And there's another torpedo needlefish over here, but I'm really not liking the torpedo needlefish because um, they torpedoed me by mistake. So I'm kind of upset about that. Yes, yes, it does. Currently, the torpedo needlefish is the bane of my existence. I'm not going to self-destruct the other one until it uh, uses its last torpedo. Because I'm not going to just waste the torpedo.
Let's bring five of those. Just, yeah, that'll work. Oh, I don't have the missile launchers yet. Well, that sucks. Okay, so now we have another island. vehicles are back aboard, so we can head out. The sad part is, I'm two hours in, and I'm just now accomplishing the first thing I set out to do. After I bled through all of my resources. For those of you keeping score at home, we'll go over here and look at how many uh, torpedoes I have left. I have five. So that means I have nine in total. And if we look at the tactical map, the enemy carrier captured this island most recently. So... The carrier is somewhere in here. It could be going here. It could have been going here. Or it could be going after me specifically and going down here. Or it may not be doing any of those things and it could be going back up north. I have no idea. But the problem is, I have a single digit number of torpedoes left, and that is currently my best hope of sinking the carrier. Until I get to the next island. Well, actually, the one I can get torpedoes for is this island. But for now, I need to go here get the missile turret, go here, get 100 millimeter shells, and then go here and get torpedoes. Yeah, in, in theory I can. In fact, that seems like a good job for my uh, um, torpedo ship. You go over here. Don't care what you do, just go that way. <laughs> Hopefully that won't cause any problems that I'll come back to regret later. And then I am going to go capture this side. That's currently what I'm thinking. I'm just 
is going to send that torpedo ship off into oblivion. It can uh, find the enemy carrier. got like the short straw with this set of islands because it's supposed to have like a base level of like ones and twos but as you can see they're like all threes and fours so I didn't exactly get a good seed I should have tried again Yeah, that's probably the idea. Although, if I'm being completely honest, I'm kind of hoping a few of my uh, friends might join in on the fun, so I'm not sitting here trying to manage all of these systems by myself. But, uh, I think I'm currently the only one interested in this game. Because apparently, according to the videos I was watching, that inspired me to start over with a new game. It turns out the uh, AI drones are kind of weaker against uh, player-controlled drones. So the thing to do in every fight would be to directly control the guns on the drones and actually fight them myself instead of just letting the AI do it because they're inaccurate and can't hit the broadside of a barn. So I need to be directly controlling more of the vehicles, but I'm not. I'm spending more time on the bridge looking through the scope trying to get the uh, carrier artillery to hit something and it just can't. Like, the carrier is inaccurate as all hell. It, like, blankets an area, but it's not using enough guns for that to be an effective tactic, so you gotta get close enough, and then you just gotta hope that it doesn't get, like, stopped by the water or by a tree. 
Uh, honestly, this game's got some problems, but I'm going to keep playing it because people are watching, I guess. And as to your question of my favorite unit that I have... I don't know, I'm currently liking the Needlefish. They seem to be doing a pretty good job. Specifically the uh, gun Needlefish. The Torpedo ones are probably my least favorite unit. And then uh, land vehicles, currently I like the bears. Because I'm finding out they're actually pretty tough. And I like that uh, 100 mil gun. The heavy cannon just straight up like annihilated some uh, walruses that I didn't see on that previous island. Still got about 150,000 kilos left to play with. actually a good thing to know. It, it's just, uh, right now, I absolutely hate the torpedo needlefish with every fiber of my being. The uh, reason that I hate it is because I tried using the torpedo needlefish to sink a couple of other surface ships, and basically the torpedoes went active sooner than they probably should have. They came back, they got distracted by one of the, uh, by a countermeasure, and the torpedo came back and slammed into my ship, not once, but twice. Launching a torpedo from this ship, if it comes back at the carrier, it won't damage the carrier. But, apparently, you can damage your escorts, and your escorts can damage you. So, the Needlefish torpedoed my carrier, and uh, I haven't let that go, and I probably won't let that go. Which is why I uh, sent uh, this uh, needlefish right here, I sent this one off into oblivion. It just has one torpedo left. So it, it's just going to go off here and see if it can find the uh, enemy carrier. Because that'll make my life easier, so I'll have an idea of where the hell it is. But other than that, I wanted to get them to take out this swordfish up here, but they missed... I missed, and uh, not only did I miss, I sunk one of my needlefish that I actually like. So I got to use my, uh, I got to use more of my little, uh, 
hotkeys that I have mapped to my keyboard to try to make my uh, stream quote unquote more entertaining. Can we get more 160 mil needle fish? Yes, we can, and we can afford it. It's just I need to keep a closer eye on the rest of the stuff that I've got going on. Getting a 40 mil. You are getting a 40 mil. So are you, and so are you. follow. distracted easily. So we've got more of those coming. Oh, that's right, I have the weapon breaker disabled at the moment. Now the good news is I'm going against Shield Island, so this one shouldn't be as bad. It might have air defenses, it might not. Oh, 
currently we're doing good on fuel. Capturing that fuel island the last time, or yesterday, uh, probably saved me. Yeah, it's kind of hit or miss. So we're going to find out soon enough how much, how much they've got defending them. I'm hoping not too much, but at this point, I'm not expecting a whole lot. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, at least I'm caught up on fuel. Which means we can keep our uh, needlefish afloat, we can keep our ship afloat. Let's see. See, the ship's doing good. And they just dropped off even more fuel, so... Progress. Let's get zoomed out. We're over here. It is currently looking like that. You see, I was hoping to get all the way over here to capture this island in this stream, but I don't know if I'm going to. I think I'm going to take out this island, and that's probably where I'm going to call it for today. But the verdict's still out. Let's look at our speed at the moment. Currently going 32 knots. Going pretty good speed. What is what? 
Let's go over here. Yeah, I don't see him at the moment. Okay, so I got too close to this. It appears they've got something over there. Alright, so that's heading 045. anything else, but we're doing good on fuel. Torpedoes came from, I'm going to guess, the enemy carrier. They're not locked on to the carrier group. 
but they might hit the clone. Or they might hit the bark, and that would be a bit of a problem. kind of used up a lot of the 160 mil between the uh, carrier and the needlefish. Basically we've got enough ammo for another attack and then we gotta resupply. Which luckily resupply is coming. Now they're coming for me. Okay, good news. The barges can take some hits. Oh yeah, we gotta look to see if they have uh, surface ships. have 
have an air Gun's already loaded. And at least it can hit things if I'm close enough. But I don't have any, like, limits. Alright, let's knock it back a little bit. Let's turn on weapons. First missile, gun. Better turn on the We already know they have air power. Okay. Alright, fine. Go to the island anyway. I know the enemy carrier is up there somewhere. When I start taking their islands, they might make an attack at me. I don't know, I have yet to actually interact with the enemy carrier in a playthrough. But I also haven't played this game very much, 
so it only stands to reason that I don't know exactly what's going on. But I'm trying to play it a little bit more. Oh, yeah. I didn't want to go that slow. Over here. That probably won't hit anything, but it's a nice thought. Or it might hit something. Had a seal in the hangar. All right. Luckily, I can replace the mantas. I can build more of those. I can't replace the, uh... I can't replace the albatrosses. At least not yet. Turn that off. We don't need that anymore. A lot of good it's doing me anyway. Got more ammo. All right, so let's look over here.
least if I'm lucky, they won't have air defenses. Or at least they won't have, like, a... Really, it's probably for the best because they're currently in the water, so the uh, gun wouldn't have hit it anyway. the carrier is attempting to get back on my good side. Okay, you take out this, you take out this, and you take out this. to airlift the uh, bear and the virus bots to the shore.
currently seeing any more bad things. So, can I airlift those onto the island? And you adjust your flight path to be lower and closer to the island. Probably dangerous to have them flying low. But luckily it's night time and I'll be able to see the uh, headlights better. This one has the, uh... Oh boy, where did I put the... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Deploy vehicle. vehicle. We're going to know soon enough which one's which. Because I already forgot whether I dropped the... or I put the tank on the left and the seal on the right, or the tank on the right and the seal on the left. So I don't know which one's getting dropped off where. You have enough fuel that you'll be able to survive.
Wait, no, 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 no. It tried picking up the virus bot, and it crashed into the building. <sighs> I don't even want to take ownership of this one. This isn't my fault. Even my fault. I didn't do it. You can blame me for lots of stupid shit, but that's not one of them. Unlocked one blueprint! Yay! Alright, so... Did you pick up the seals? This screen should show me what is currently deployed, right? Good news is I can get back the uh, missile turret that I lost. chilling at that location. Rocket pods would be cool if only I had rockets. But if I want rockets, I need to capture that island, and that ain't happening. So, let's go over here, and let's put some defenses on this island. Yeah, but that's also a problem with tanks in general. Alright, 
right, while the petrol figures out how to pick up the seal, I'm just going to have the the bear just start making its way back to the ship. doing, but... Okay, go over here. You go over here. By the time it figures out how to airlift the damn seal, the bear's already going to be back on board. Such is life, I suppose. Alright, you just land. You're now to like a third of a tank. Good news is, I have a pretty well supplied fleet. I didn't even do what I planned on doing. Yeah, the 160 millimeter um, needlefish are doing a lot. Did I order another replacement petrol? No, I didn't. Petrol finally picked up the damn thing. It was just flying around in circles because it couldn't get a lock on where the seal was, so it just blew through like all of its fuel. So, once everything is back aboard like it's supposed to be, I'm going to start heading towards Cerebus. I feel like it probably should have been Cerberus, but whatever. Yeah, I'm currently liking those two. Alright, and when that touches down... Alright, it's five. Okay. 
camera. Bomb. 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 Oh yeah, I forgot about that thing. Might as well join the fleet too. And I've got a barge on standby in case one gets destroyed or otherwise obliterated. Nope, just those three positions. the bear. It's already back at the ship, so there's no point in sending up the petrol again. Alright. So, as a bit of a recap of what I've managed to accomplish today, Started off over here, came to here, captured this island, lost a lot of surface ships, or a lot more than I was supposed to, captured this island, captured this island, and now we have everything set up to go start attacking these islands. So, that will be uh, next time's thing since I already have a uh, stream scheduled for tomorrow. It probably won't be tomorrow, so more than likely it'll be on Tuesday. But, this seems like as good of a stopping point as any. Uh, this has been Carrier Command 2. Thank you all for watching and hopefully you have a nice day.